Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Amber, I cannot believe what you're saying. Incarcerate potential criminals at birth? What are you gonna do, throw them in a baby prison? If they resist arrest? I gotta tell you, this theory of yours is absolutely obscene. It's a question of heredity. Criminals breed criminals. All right, give me an example. Ma Barker and her kids, the Dalton gang, the James brothers, Butch Cassidy and his kid. Now you see, Doro, you window shop long enough, you can get some real fines. All right, freeze, Frico. Hammer. Drop the iron. Drop it. Okay, I'll take it. Doro, wrap up this sleazy package. All right, we got it, ma'am. If you call us black and white, we'd appreciate it. I'll tell you what, I'll prove my point here. I'll show you that the sledgehammer scum begets scum theory is scientific fact. Hammer, that's absolutely unnecessary. So saying that. All right, you genetic mutant. What does your father do? Wants to know. I do. I'm doing a little survey. Now, what does he do? He's the presidential press secretary. You see, Duro? Poor guy never had a chance. Hammer, you're not going to believe this. A man was just booked for attempting to break into the Wentworth mansion. So what? Well, I thought this would be of particular interest to you. What, did someone get killed? No. Oh, well then, don't tease me, Duro. The man appears to be your brother. My brother? Gee, I haven't seen my brother in... I don't have a brother. Well, there's a man named Miles Hammer who's been in Trunk's office for over an hour, and he swears he's your brother. Yeah, Hammer, I met him. He's got the looks and the brains. What did you get? The trigger finger. <laughs> so there we were, standing in the middle of the Champs Elysees. And... <laughs> okay, Captain, what's going on? <laughs> Just a bit, Hammer. <laughs> Your brother's in the middle of a very funny story. <laughs> okay, slime clone. Get off the hands off that man! I realize that you're upset by this sudden revelation, Sledge. I, I never meant for us to meet under circumstances that were so inauspicious. I think you mean suspicious, don't you? Hammer, this is very heavy. This is your brother. What is this? I, what, just any jerk who walks in off the street and claims to be my brother, you believe. It all checks out, Hammer. Bellman and Records ran a full trace. It's all in the files. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I want to see Bellman. I want to see those records right now. Be right in, Captain Trunk. Well, if you're supposed to be my brother, how come my parents never talked about you? Probably in fear of his safety, Hammer. Here's the file, sir. Thank you. All right, give me that. Born Passaic, New Jersey. Well, I wasn't the only one born in Passaic, New Jersey. Parents were Jack and Arm and Hammer. Well, so what? I'm sure there are lots of Jack and Arm and Hammers in this country. Gotta be. Well, it says here, according to this, you were born three months before my parents were married, so how'd he explain that, slimeball? Read on, Hammer. He grew up in an orphanage. That's right. Mother and father gave me up at birth. They had what is known as a shotgun wedding. Oh, a shotgun wedding. Boy, that sounds romantic, doesn't it? I don't believe it. It all checks out. Well, look at him. He doesn't either. He doesn't even resemble me. Oh, there is a resemblance. Only he's infinitely better looking than you are. Well, if you don't mind, I believe I'm entitled to make one phone call. Oh, Miles, right this way. Use my phone. If it's a personal call. Well, if it's a personal call, Miles, you can use my phone. Bellman, would you show Miles my phone, please? It's right around that. Oh, here. Let me get that for you. Oh. Here you are. Thank you, Miles. What is this? Use my phone. No, use my phone. No, pick up my stuff. Use, hey, use my phone. Hammer, face the facts. What, that this two-bit criminal is my brother? No, that the sledgehammer, scum begets scum theory, doesn't hold water. So sometimes it skips a generation. But you two are the same generation. Hey, don't confuse me. 
Will the defendant please rise? Now comes my favorite part, the sentencing. Miles Hammer, Mrs. Wentworth has decided to drop all charges against you. You're a free man. What? However, out of personal curiosity, the court would like to know, if you don't mind, how this came about. Evelyn and... <laughs> I mean, Mrs. Wentworth and I reached a mutual understanding, Your Honor. Know what I mean? Your judge Now, look, wait a minute. You're not gonna let this oil can grease his way out of this, are you? Hammer, that man's your brother. Yeah, and I voted for Mondale. I've seen better decisions made by Ouija boards. One more outburst like this, and I will hold you in contempt of court. If you held me, all there'd be was contempt. Your Honor, please excuse Inspector Hammer's outburst. He's just recently discovered that we're brothers, and the sight of me accused of a crime has upset him greatly. Your Honor, may I speak in behalf of the defendant? He wants you to throw the book at him. Really, no mercy. That's a direct quote. I want the gas chamber. He told me this. He did. Would you kindly take your hand off the defendant's mouth? I imagine it's quite a shock for Sledge, an outstanding citizen and decorated officer, to see his brother facing trial. I can assure you, Your Honor, this will never happen again. It certainly won't if you put this turkey behind bars while you have the chance. I am absolutely shocked at the lack of compassion you have toward your brother. You are positively inhuman. Well, that's nice of you to say. This court is adjourned until after lunch. Well, Miles, what are you going to do now? Find a place to live, I guess. Well, he can stay with you, Candy Hammer. I mean, he's your brother. Until he finds a place. My building doesn't allow pets. Well, if Hammer won't put you up, you can stay at my house. I'm so ashamed of you. You care more about your gun than you do about your own brother. I grew up with my gun. I could shoot before I could walk. Well, what's it gonna be? All right. All right. Thanks, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough groping. I've never lived with another human being in my entire life. You were married. That's what I mean. Well, here it is. Hmm. I bet you decorated it yourself. How'd you guess? Your brothers, remember? I didn't think he'd call. You got quite a fan club there. All right, listen, pal, I'm in no mood for wisecracks. In the last 24 hours, I've gained a brother and a roommate. What am I gonna find out next? I got two kids. Didn't I tell you? Shut up. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, it's funny, I've always known there was another part of me out there, another half. They say brothers can be psychically linked, feel each other's feelings. You think that's true? I don't know. You feel homicidal? <laughs> Why are you so hostile? Hey, that's interesting. A target right in your own apartment. Reflects my taste. I guess I won't be needing it anymore, now that you're here. Well, Sledge, where do we start? We got 40 years of catching up to do. Don't you hit me unless you mean it. Now, tomorrow I want you to get out of here and find yourself a job. Maybe they got an opening somewhere for a department store mannequin. Of course, of course. And don't get too comfortable. If my new landlady finds out you're here, it's adios amigos. She's strict. Mr. Hammer, is there someone in there with you? Uh, yeah, uh, just a minute, Mrs. Steinberg. See? Thanks a lot. Trying to sneak in a roommate? Uh, look, this is not what you think. This this guy here, he claims to be my brother, so... Really? Yeah. He seems way too good looking. That's a lovely necklace. It's Fijian, isn't it? A nui nui. Mi swali ni tati. Oh, boy. <laughs> Leilani utututu, nutu? Well, Mr. Nunu ututu tutu was just leaving. Nonsense. He's welcome to stay for as long as he likes. I look forward to uh, speaking with you again. 
Perhaps we could uh, discuss the wiki me tiki ritual. Oh. <laughs> no, Wally. Wiki me tiki, huh? <laughs> you get a lot of mileage out of that charm, don't you? Well, she's fantastic. Do you know her very well? You can sleep on the couch. So, we must have something in common. Do you like chess? No. I prefer games of true mental agility and stamina, like sculling. OK, you like canoeing. Great. No, no. bashing skulls. <laughs> I see. Maybe we don't have anything in common, except mother and father. Mom sure was a looker. Yeah, they were great. I guess you never got to know them very well, huh? Oh, we talked every now and then. And I know they'd be really proud of at least one of their sons today. You know, I, I, I kept a scrapbook of all your exploits, Sledge. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> well, I guess it's time I got ready for bed. All right, take the bed. It's softer. Good night, Sledge. Good night, Miles. me. Rook takes pawn. <laughs> oh, you mean it? Oh. Oh. Hey, Ham. Look, I, I told my family about your brother. You think you might like to come over to the house sometime? Then, you know, meet my sister and all. Sure, why not? But don't bring out the good silver. Listen, girl. The next person that praises my brother He's gonna get a 44 caliber heart massage. It's not jealousy I hear, is it, Hammer? Right. What has he got that I could possibly be jealous of? He's suave, charming, polite. A better dresser than you? Well, I've gotta be going. So what are you all decked out for? Marcel Marceau wears less makeup than that. I have a date. What do you mean, a date? A date? You mean you have a date? You mean like a date? A date? Like a date with a man? Yes. Someone you know. Your brother. Bro, you can't do that. Hammer, on my off hours, I can do whatever I want. All right, look. If you want a real hot date, I'll fix you up with the flasher in the holding cell. At least he's ready to commit to a relationship. You're lucky. You're an only child. Who are you talking to, Hammer? Oh, I'm just... I got... So, Miles, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? <sighs> What's to tell? I, like most people, I've drifted from place to place. I've done a lot of things I'm not too proud of. I've learned things the hard way. I enjoy tennis, horseback riding, polo, quoits, badminton, snooker. You know, it's so odd. Two brothers, same family, same genes. One of them goes so wrong. Well, I guess I'm just a victim of circumstances. I was referring to Sledge. <gasps> oh, I don't speak French. You'll have to order for me. Ça fait bon. Pour la mademoiselle Coquille Saint-Jacques et pour moi, je voudrais l'escargot de vraiment, s'il vous plaît. Voilà. Your wine, monsieur? This isn't a 1970 Chateau Neuf de Pop. Oh, well, monsieur. <laughs> it's a 73, you oaf. Excusez-moi, monsieur, but we are freshly out of that vintage. You get back there and bring us a Montrachet 79. Oui, monsieur, tout de suite, right away. Where did you learn so much about wine? 
I spent several jail terms near the Napa Valley. Oh, but that's all behind me. I'm turning over a new leaf now. Meeting my brother has shown me the error of my ways. Oh, where is he? He's been gone for 10 minutes. I understand. You're upset. So am I. Hey, shut up! I'm trying to think! Thank you, Miles. This is very nice. I've always wanted to come here. Well, I want to thank you for paying. Would you care to dance? All right. I love to dance, don't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. You can't cut in. I'm with my lady. Does this happen all the time? Only when I'm out in public. I really can't get over that you're Sledge's brother. Well, I am. Well, in that case, perhaps you could answer a question for me, something I've been dying to know for a long time. Is Sledge's middle name really Alfred? Yep, it sure is. Sledge Alfred Hammer, do you believe it? That's funny, that's Mayjoy's middle name. I must have made a mistake. Sledge doesn't have a middle name. Oh, that's right. Where did I get Alfred from? I don't know. Where did you get Alfred from? Hmm. Who cares about his middle name? I think I know why you invited me here. Hammer, I have something I've got to tell you. Hey, I, I don't want to hear the gory details, all right? It's about Miles. I found out something horrible last night. Let me guess. He sleeps with his mouth open. He's not your brother. You mean he's my sister? No, he's not really your brother. I tricked him into telling me your middle name last night. Right. I don't have a middle name. Exactly. So? So? He said you did. Now, how did he alter his records to match yours? I don't know. There's no place he could have found that information except in my personnel file, and that is classified. Bellman. Bellman. <laughs> That if I gave him the information about Inspector Hammer, that he would marry me. <laughs> you believe that? What are you talking about? You believed he was your brother? Well, I, I, I didn't, uh, I... Why would Miles want people to believe he's Hammer's brother? He said he needed a new identity. A trump card to cover for him while he tried to figure out how to rob Mrs. Wentworth. So... Told him about you because you don't have any family. I found out that he was having an affair with Mrs. Wentworth. And I still loved him. <laughs> don't you have any self-respect, woman? No. Well, ask a silly <laughs> question, right? Hammer. What was Miles' real name anyway, Maddie? Bruce Radish. He's an out-of-work, off-Broadway actor. An actor? The lowest form of criminal. Well, it's time I brought the curtain down on him. <laughs> Hammer, your brother's trapped inside the Wentworth mansion. He's holding a hostage. He dressed like you when he used the badge to get in. Now he's demanding to see you. <laughs> All right, come on, Duro. Booker. Hammer, <laughs> tell Miles the dinner's still on. Come on, Miles. Give yourself up. Let's settle this thing peacefully. Let the maid go. No way. Not till I talk to Sledge. Sorry I'm late, but it looks like I got here in time for the fun, huh? Hammer, you wouldn't shoot your own brother, would you? Wait a minute. Of course you would. Captain. Miles really isn't Hammer's brother. It was all a ruse. He's really an unemployed thespian. Yeah, and he's an actor, too. I wonder where he got all this ammunition. Must have picked the lock on my hope chest. Sledge! Get everybody else out of here or she gets it. <sighs> and I thought actors loved an audience. All right, Captain, why don't you get this party out of here? This is a family matter. No, Hammer. Just the thought of leaving you here with all these priceless works of art scares the living daylights out of me. Oh, relax. What could I possibly bust? By the way, where are the Wentworths? Only the maid was home. The Wentworths are at a Republican caucus meeting. Where? Uh, at the Liars Club. Come on, I'm getting impatient. Okay. 
We're going to be right outside this door. All right. We're leaving. <laughs> Okay, Glamour Boy, you can come out now. We're all alone. Don't shoot! Trust me, I never miss. It smiles I'm thinking of. He's got such a beautiful face. God. Women. You know, all along, I knew you weren't my brother. But now this proves it. What do you mean? You didn't kill anybody. You thought you were brothers? <laughs> Well, clearly, he's much too handsome. You know, come to think of it, I have been known to miss on occasion. But you know what burns me up the worst, brother dearest? That I borrowed your suit? Well, that too. But worse than that, you tried to play on my emotions. What few I have. Oh, look, I I'm sorry, but can't you at least give me a head start? Give me a chance to make a break for it. That sounds like a good idea. That'll make it more interesting. Uh, uh, you let her go first. But he said he'd take me to the opera. Uh, maybe some other time. I'll give you five minutes. Thanks, Sledge. You'll never regret it. I know. Whoa! Oops. Oh, I saved Doro. Yeah, nice save, Duro. Hammer! Well, you do have to give him credit, sir. What's that? He's an actor who does his own stunts. What are you guys doing? Oh, well, we're checking out your family tree. Oh. I'm trying to figure out just who you are related to. What'd you come up with? Oh, this is fascinating. Your what? roots go back to Ivan the Terrible. Great. You know, I had an uncle, Ivan. Did you know you're a distant relative of Genghis Khan? Good. I had an Aunt Khan, Joan Khan. You're a direct descendant of Gandhi? Gandhi? Oh, well. There's a black sheep in every family. He was a bald guy who wore a sheet, right? 